I wonder if we might just have a look. I mean, we've, we've been thankfully grateful to you for giving us a, a, a look at the letter that you've sent uh, to, to Boris Johnson. I wonder if we just take a look at one line of it here. We request that you undertake not to advise Her Majesty the Queen, should you become Prime Minister, to prorogue Parliament without first providing seven days' notice uh, to our client. Don't go and see the Queen if you are Prime Minister and prorogue Parliament. I mean, there will be people watching this this morning going, who on earth do you think you are writing a letter like that to the man who most likely will be the next Prime Minister? Well, each of us in a democracy, each of us has the right as a citizen to exercise our power, uh, our legitimate questions of the courts. And that's what I did the first time. It's quite, it's and quite that's something to write a letter to a former Foreign Secretary and tell yeah. him, you know, if you become Prime Minister, you know, advise our client a week in advance if you're going to go and see the Queen. Well... Paying lip service to uh, parliamentary democracy is one thing, mm -hmm. but you actually have to actively defend it. And that's what this case and my legal team and I would be doing, is actively defending parliamentary sovereignty, because, as I said, it is the cornerstone of our constitution. And to abuse that, nobody is above the law. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you can be a prime minister, you can be... Whatever your position, we would argue, I would argue, that no one is above the law. I mean, the one thing that you're not, of course, is an elected representative. Yeah. Have you been speaking to, I mean, amongst others, Sir John Major, obviously up in the Upper House now, but have you been speaking to John Major? Have you been speaking to any Conservative MPs? No, I've had right no now. conversations. This is, uh, as I said, uh, when this question was being mooted, or the prorogation question was being mooted back in June, I wrote an article then, and my legal team and I have been talking, looking at the judgment in, if you like, Miller 1, the first case, and looking at that judgment and going over it and seeing that actually we do have a right to bring this into the not just the judgment in the case, but to fight to say that the Prime Minister wouldn't have this power.